HBOX is giving away money, leave Gimmer's dad alone, and esports runs the train on Jeb Bailey. This is the Rat City Recap. Two new non-endemic esports brands enter the ring as CEO announces that Amtrak, the National Railroad Passenger Association, is now a sponsor of the event. We'll see if Amtrak will be prepared for the flood of broke FGC players polluting our transit system, singing somebody, somebody getting fucked. Fu Shortly after, Colin Breaker continued the trend of brands I never thought would be in the tournament, announcing that Chipotle is now a sponsor of the esteemed Chicago-based event. Anyone who makes it out of pools at Colin Breaker for any game can redeem a coupon code for one free burrito and a complimentary hour of meditation time while you're shitting your brains out shortly after. Shouts out to these new sponsors supporting the FGC and Smash community. I got my money on FEMA joining us in Detroit for Big House this year. Can't have a weekly Smash Twitter recap video without mentioning the H God himself. Fresh Cut and Hungrybox announced a Fresh Cut Freshman, a monthly two grand fund that goes towards flying out non-sponsored Smash players to super major events. This money is coming from the $100,000 Smash fund that Fresh Cut recently announced with good old H Box as their chief Smash officer, Narc. There's no way Dawson, the Philly Puff, will be on the HBox Skyjet due to his 10 for 10 streak of attending tournaments HBox loses at, but we're excited to see the Clutch God fly out your local Falco Master to smoke weed outside the Genesis venue, dripped out in a fresh cut jersey. Xandu Homecoming marked the beginning of a new era for the company returning to its roots and focusing on hosting the best monthly tournaments possible. Being the family-oriented operation that VGBC is, even their father pitched in time to help the brothers out by chefing up some homemade tacos, enchiladas, and more for purchase at the event. Gamer would proudly share the tacos to Twitter, which got him, much like the lettuce on his tacos, torn to shreds. From white people tacos to do not let them cook, the same two or three jokes were repeatedly made at VGBC's expense. Soon after, Gimmer would take to the court retweets with, bro, my dad is solo cooking Tex-Mex to help raise money for us, and y'all are just dunking for no reason. And cowards like Hugs86 would delete their tweets and fully walk back their insults. We all understand that this is part of VGBC's climb out of the pit that Panda threw them down, and hey, it's not like the standard for authentic Mexican food in Maryland was incredibly high in the first place. In other news, the Come Up 2023 took place last weekend in Toronto, Canada, and featured competitors like AMSA, Aklo, Hex Money, Moki, Nun, Zuppy, and 114 other players in the melee bracket. In the wise words of his sponsor, Moist Critical, Moki's run would be sweatier than a fourth grader looking up cheeks on Game Facts to the secret ending in Tomb Raider 2. With a Game 5 win over Aklo, a Game 5 loss to AMSA, and another Game 5 win over Aklo, Moki would take two back-to-back -back Game 5 wins over AMSA in Grand Finals and successfully defend the region he grew up in. And finally, for not attending many tournaments at all, Rishi surprised everyone by taking first place at the recent Nightclub Weekly, defeating JoJo and Hacks Money twice, further dispelling the myth that you need to actively play Melee to be good at it. That's all from the Racity Recap. Like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment to get featured on the next video. Here are some of our favorites from the last one. I have mixed feelings about Pal, but the Sheik down throw change and the Gandorf nerfs are sick and definitely outweigh the bad changes. Most of us say shitty stuff behind the screen sometimes, but I think we should try to say them not loud enough for people to hear. The best feeling is cooking on an Alston Nelly video and the video not being a podcast. Fuck you. But thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.